All right. We're good? All good, man. So, Patty, um, can you just tell us a bit about where you grew up, basically? Yeah. Um, sure. <laughs> um, well, how about I do this? Can I introduce myself? Yeah, 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 definitely. My name is Paddy Mills. I come from the cock of the people of Kunaba, South Australia, and the Dawareb and Comet tribes of Murray Islands, Torres Strait Islands, far north Queensland. I come from a family of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander descents. And I stand here today with enormous pride representing those two families. This is 18-year-old Patrick Mills. In the coming years, the point guard is expected to make an impact on the international stage with Australia and is also being tipped to star in the world's premier basketball league, the NBA. To get to that level, I'll need to definitely improve um, my defensive, full court defense up the court, uh, my ball handling, also my shooting. Many months later. The Portland Pat Stacks, don't forget the name, Kamanacha. No look feed to Rudy Fernandez. This man can shoot. And out of the day's big news, an Australian pair, Paddy Mills and Aaron Baines, have joined WA's Luke Longley and fellow Aussie great Andrew Gaze as NBA championship players. Larry O'Brien. Get up, boys. Yeah, Get off. <laughs> Mills for three. Paddy Mills on the reverse. DeRozan kicks it out. Paddy Mills. Oh, mama. Good on you, Paddy. Playing the game that I love, but doing it overseas um, and living in another country, um, there has been a lot of things that you have to sacrifice to get to playing at this level. Um, but I always make sure whenever I come home that I take the opportunity to stand in front of um, people in community so that they can see me for who I really am. Um, and that's a proud, indigenous Australian man um, who wants to put time into the younger generation or the next generation um, and for them to realise that I'm just like them um, when I stand in front of them and, and introduce myself and tell them where I'm from. That's the connection first and foremost. Um, and for them to realise that I was just like them. I was a little young indigenous boy running around with no shoes on or holes in your shoes. Um, so if I can do it, um, there's definitely a lot of young boys and girls out there that can do it as well. You've had a busy summer, wouldn't you busy. say? Busy, very busy. <laughs> Let's see, you got married. Yep. Uh, you played for your country. Yep. And you started a community water project to help your fellow Australians. Yeah. There's been a national disaster of the um, Barker, which is known today as the Darling River. For thousands and thousands of years, that, that was the source of clean water, especially for the traditional people of Barkindji, because uh, Barkindji means the people of the river. Over the last five to 10 years, Darling River has been destroyed, that we virtually have no more water. The water that is remaining there is poisonous. We partnered with a company from Phoenix called Zero Mass Water. They have created a, a solar hydro panel to be able to use the moisture and sunlight and humidity to be able to create clean drinking water. So uh, we've taken these panels and we've uh, placed them in six different uh, very remote communities within Australia. 
places where they don't have water and if they do it's, it's not um, accessible or they can't use it. So it was an important trip to be able to improve the lives of Indigenous Australians um, and to see the emotional feedback from the community members and the kids was something that was very emotional and something that um, you know, I'm very pleased that we had the opportunity to do it. It's not very often that we get people like Paddy Mills in our community and, and what he's done just with bringing source out here and putting, putting a bubbler on our oval, it's just, it's absolutely incredible. It's actually astounding that somebody has actually taken the time out of their life to do this for our community and our kids. Water is, um, is, is important, you know, and the access to clean water is, uh, is a human right, which these people don't have. So, uh, you know, improving this lifestyle is, is, uh, was, you know, meant a lot to me. It's always going to be hard, I think, for someone to truly describe the feeling of, of what it feels like to, to put on the green and gold. You can try as much as you like, um, but at the end of the day, um, I don't think you'll really be able to um, pass on you know, uh, that, that feeling of running out, having your name called out, singing um, the national anthem. Um, you know, they're all goosebump feelings because you know how much is riding on um, playing for your country. You represented your country in the FIBA World Cup games. Yep. I know you didn't win the gold, but yet I know you're very proud of uh, your home country, but also at the same time for yourself, it was also a big moment because of your stats with almost 50% <coughs> shooting. Having the chance to represent Australia at that world stage at a World Cup is, is obviously great. Um, there's another level of um, fire that is ignited when, when I have that opportunity. But, you know, in, in talking about individual performances, um, you know, I've, I've always had a different role on the national team that I might have had here in, in San Antonio and, and making the most of that opportunity to go back and play is obviously great fun. Um, you know, for me, I guess the challenge that I've got to find is being able to see how I can transition that into my, my role here in, in San Antonio. So um, it's a good challenge to, to have um, and then something I'm going to look forward to putting in place uh, this season. The ball moves once again unbelievable. Oh, Paddy Mills does it again! I'm a role model, first and foremost, to be able to show not only young Indigenous kids, but all Australian kids, that no matter where you come from, what background you come from, where your family come from, if you're able to know who you are and where you come from, you can use that as mo motivation to overcome any adversity, any hurdles, and to achieve greater things that you can only dream of. So for me, being a young Indigenous Australian and having some pretty wild dreams at a young age, that's what I want to be able to show the younger generation, that dreams can come true, just don't forget who you are and where you come from. If I move my arm, I feel like I want to Yeah, yeah. Rowing and action. It's time, Australia. Let's do this. Lights out.